Let's jump here and let's uh, have a look at another example. Again, we check our. Let's try a landscape, see if it's. We can see how the colors really pop out there. Why not start where it's really easy to start with, you know? I got even a little more contrast. I got the highlights a bit. Jump over here to our HSL. You can see how quick this goes. Grab our target tool. I really want the greens to be darker. I want these to be a little lighter. Go to saturation. Push this up. Now the yellow here and the yellow in the green leaves would normally be a trick. We'll use our adjustment brush for that. So we'll just have a pin right here. Okay, and we don't necessarily need exposure. What we want is to make this pop. We want to sharpen this up. Yeah, good. Now, let's go to new again. And same thing we did before. I want to paint in some darkening. I'm going to darken the edges down. And you can turn your density down if you prefer to build it up a little slower. I'm going to turn the auto mask on as well. That'll help me to avoid actually hitting the flower. So again, just like with all photography or all art, you really want to control the viewer's eye as much as you can, as much as you can get away with. So we're really bringing out this image that started out very flat, we're really making it deep. I'm going to paint this in here again. Pretty much want this to just fade away, this thing here, the stem, it's kind of in the way, irritating. I don't know how many screens we have. Can we send them the same okay. All right. So let's have a look here. Over there real quick. Now this is all non-destructive. So I can hit done and I've still got everything I ever had in the original. I can save the image over here as an image to put somewhere else. So it's really a pretty amazing uh, set of tools and features you have here. Maybe just a quick rundown through the tools here. You've got your white balance dropper, color sampler, which lets you see what color value values you've got in your image. Very handy. Target adjustment tool, you can crop right here. You can straighten by dragging a line out on something that should be straight. You can retouch uh, dust spots. Just like that, pretty easy. And clear those out. You've got your, uh, this is a red eye tool, color replacement tool, your adjustment brush we talked about. The gradient tool works just like the adjustment brush, except it's on a gradient. Another very handy tool. Here's your preferences. And you'll want to see, uh, make changes. You can rotate your image here, you can throw it away. And then this allows you to set your export preferences right here. So, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this quick camera raw tutorial walkthrough, kind of how I use it. And stay tuned again for 
more. We're looking at doing some NX2, Nikon NX2 tutorials, tips and tricks. So stay tuned.